Hello, everybody. That down there, on the floor down there, that's a, a small homemade kiln I just knocked together uh, with some, some refractory bricks. And um, it's a, basically a, an, improvised, an improvised kiln for, um, let's bring the, I'll bring the camera a bit closer so you can see it. I just needed to fire off some pots, you see, and um, and as you can see, it's made out of just any old bricks that I had, really, and uh, not the best bricks at that by any means. But uh, it's actually a downdraft, a small, very very small downdraft kiln, which um, let us move the camera a bit. A bit closer you can see you can see down there the where the burner goes in and you can see the chimney there on the top the slot and in fact I had a firing in it a couple of days ago so why we could just we could unload it couldn't we see what, what the results are so Actually, the, the idea of this sprang really because I, I wanted to make a test kiln. And, um, and most test kilns that you see are electric. electric. So this is a gas fire. So we have like a, a reducing atmosphere inside it. And um, so... just got fiber these fiber um, board I suppose it is and uh, I have actually I have actually had a look in here this is not the first <laughs> not the very first opening of it but um, let's see if we can bring a bit of light in there you can see uh, you can see the it's very very simple of course you have the, the shelf and under, underneath the pots and the flame comes up underneath here from from over on this side on the right side so we have a little um, cone 10 there well over and um, let's see if I can locate this this light over here. How's that? Are we good? Are we in the picture? Yeah. Yeah. So you can see the where the burner is down here. The flame comes underneath, underneath the shelf, up here, on this end bit here. Comes up there over the top and then it goes down again um, down here there's a slot you see down in here and then the, it comes up here the flame anyway these these guys They're in actual fact, I mean they're, they're fired, the glaze is matured, I would say perhaps that they're just possibly a little, a little under fired and perhaps not as, I don't know, I'm looking at the clay body, it's looking like it's not quite reduced enough in fact. So, and then this, this is actually a Shino with some felspar trailed across and um, I'm just wondering, you see, where I had the cone, because I had the cone stuck up on this guy here somewhat higher than the pieces which are lower down 
you know, they're a bit somewhat lower down there. And um, I'm just thinking, it's probably a bit hotter here than what it, right, it was down there. The other thing is that, that the, um, they're sat, they're sat on a shelf, one of these very, very hard, um, like black shelves, like carborundum. And uh, I think the, because the shelf goes right the way to the outside underneath here, I think the heat, it, it took some, quite a bit of energy to heat up that shelf. The bricks, of course, because they're soft, they heat up very quickly and take the energy of the flame and the, the gas, you know, they, they absorb the heat very quickly, whereas the shelf is very slow to absorb the heat. So I think probably the next time I do this, I may actually not use that shelf. So there's that one, another one. I'm looking at this one and I can see that the glaze is sort of not quite matured properly, you know, and um, I'm not saying it's not a nice piece, uh, but it's definitely that shelf is, is like a heat sink and it's taking the heat away from the, from the pots that are sat right on it, you see. So anyway, there, there's just, just a few pots in there, you know, it was like a test. It was the, it was the first firing in this kiln and I, I was pretty sure it was going to work. Um, I'll just take the camera off here a second. And um, so you can see that, you can see underneath, down there, you see there's a slot underneath, underneath the, uh, these heavy, these are heavy bricks as well. The, uh, the, uh, the, ch the chimney is made out of. Um, and you can see there the slot. So it's a useful little kiln because sometimes you know you want to do some some um, have a bisque firing, and uh, you don't want to have to fill up the whole of your other kiln. You maybe just have a few pieces, um, so it can be used for bisque can be used as just as a simply as a test kiln and it could be used as a as I say just for as we've done here a simple uh, a simple quick glaze firing so I leave it with you <laughs> no doubt it can be improved for sure and um, I think definitely the, the bottom shelf could be substituted for one that is not quite so heavy and dense. Nice thing about a kiln like this is it's very quick to um, very quick to pack, isn't it? So there it is, five little pots in this firing, and um, just move the camera back a touch. There you are. You see the you see the shelf here. Well, I noticed when the kiln was firing, the, of course, it, the shelf got red hot and I could see the red hot heat of the shelf. But of course, it's also cooling because of that. I think that if I, um, this firing, I fired these up to cone 10 in like four hours and 
that time, maybe if it had like a half an hour more, it might have been better. But uh, for bisque firing, um, for bisque firing, uh, probably do a bisque firing in, in three hours, you know. So what we've got to do is refine the, refine this design really, and um, improve it and make it out of proper bricks. Of course, a lot of these bricks are are old um, kiln bricks out of my electric kiln, and uh, they're not you know they're the ones that go you know, in a circle, so that they all cut at an angle, so you have to, you have to turn them over, turn one over and face it the other way, and then you can get it going in a straight line. But then you've got all these grooves here, which you've got to contend with. And, uh, anyhow, uh, yeah, visit my website, simonleachpottery.com, and uh, check out, we have an auction there, um, at the moment there's an auction always an auction there so anyway see you in the next clip and keep practicing <laughs> bye bye dee, 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 dee. whoa steady on there boy